I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where today I am going to be making pork tenderloin wrapped in bacon with a delicious maple glaze all in the crock pot. If you are ready for this one, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and show you everything we're gonna to need to make our bacon-wrapped pork tenderloins with maple glaze for the crock pot. Got salt and pepper, Worcestershire, got maple syrup. Now you can see this is a Vermont maple syrup bourbon barrel aged. That's just special because my husband likes things like that. So we're gonna be using that. You can use any maple syrup you'd like. Got some minced garlic, some Dijon mustard. We've got a double pack, and this is by Smithfield. Two pork tenderloins in here, and they're about a pound each, because the whole package is two and a half pounds. So each one of these might be about a pound and a quarter. And then we've got the bacon that we're gonna wrap up the pork tenderloins with. Now I'm using a Black Forest bacon that is uncured. I picked this up at Trader Joe's. So you can use any bacon you want. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and start putting this together. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is season my pork tenderloins on all sides. So I've got my salt here. And some cracked black pepper. And I'm just going to keep seasoning until I get all sides. Okay, so I've got my bacon here. I'll go ahead and take a piece. And then just kind of wrap it around the tenderloin here. So I'm going to pick it up. Mmm, it's going to be delicious. All right, we're going to keep doing this until we get it all covered. Mmm, this flavor, this bacon, y'all, it's going to make it. So when you get your bacon to wrap your pork loins with, get some good flavored bacon. Smells good. <laughs> I think even my dog thinks so. <laughs> We're just gonna pop it on there like that. I think I'm gonna do another piece on there. There we go. All right. This will definitely add some flavor. All right, we're gonna put these into the crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly spray the inside of the crock pot so the bacon doesn't stick to it. And then just ever so carefully pick up your pork tenderloins here and then lay them right into your crock pot. And then just kind of mold them in there until they're laying down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and make the sauce for these. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and make the mixture that we're going to pour all over our bacon wrapped tenderloins. Now I've got some maple syrup here and I'm going to be using one cup. Because so I got two pork tenderloins in there so I'm doubling the recipe actually. So you can certainly half this recipe. Okay got two teaspoons of minced garlic going in. Flavor, 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 y'all. Flavor. Okay. 
Got some Worcestershire, two tablespoons, whatever you can handle in Worcestershire. I know it's, you know, it's one of those tastes that people either like or they don't like. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my Dijon mustard here and put about four tablespoons in. Oh, that smells good. Now, we're gonna give this a whisk and see if we need anything else. Ooh, it's got a really delicious aroma going on in there. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, I'm ready for this, y'all. Mmm, I wish you could taste this right now. There we go. I'm gonna pour this all over the pork tenderloins. Okay, y'all, so it looks really good in there, and let me tell you, it smells amazing, and I can't wait till it really starts smelling amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and put my lid on it. I'm gonna be cooking this on low for about four hours. I'm looking for an internal temperature of the pork tenderloins to be between 145 to 160, and knowing me, it might be 160. I wanna make sure that they're fully cooked. All right, when I come back, we're gonna finish these off. Okay, so my pork tenderloin is now done in my crock pot. It took about four hours to reach the perfect temperature. So we'll go ahead now and take my lid off. Now we're going to crisp the bacon that's wrapped around the pork tenderloin. And that's making my husband very happy right now. <laughs> All right, so I got my oven set at broil. Okay, so we go ahead and go in with two tongs here. Now I have a pan that's got a lip around it that'll hold all the juices in and I wrap it full of tin foil and then I put a rack on top and I'm going to set both tenderloins on top of the rack here. Now that I've got my pork loins on the pan here, all right, y'all, can y'all see that beautiful liquid inside of there, that nice gravy? We're going to thicken that up, and then we're going to slather it all over our pork loins before we put them into our broiler. So I'm going to take a couple of tablespoons of some cornstarch here and just place it into a bowl. That way I can go ahead and get this going. I'm just going to add some juice from a crock pot into my bowl here with the cornstarch. All right, I'm just gonna get a fork and mix it all kind of up. They call this a slurry. All right, and what that does is it keeps it from your cornstarch from clumping in your gravy there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add that into my mix. out of the way. Bring this over here to you so you can see it. I'm going to stir this up. What's going to happen is it's going to thicken that up in there. It smells amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to be pairing this up with some mashed potatoes and some kind of vegetable. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to put some back into my bowl here. And then what I'm going to do is slather it all over the pork tenderloins. And that's good right there. Move this out of the way. I'm just going to take my little kitchen gadget here. And then I'm going to slather this gravy all over the pork tenderloins. Oh, y'all see that bacon? It smells so good. Once we get it into the broiler, it is going to crisp that bacon up really nicely. It's already fully cooked now. You can definitely tell that. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to put this in the broiler. Now keep an eye on anything that goes in your broiler because it's super duper high heat. And all we're looking for it to do is to finish by crisping up the bacon and putting this gravy kind of glaze mixture on there, holding it on there. All right, I'll be back as soon as we pull these out of the broiler. Okay, y'all, this is so tender. It is cutting with a butter knife and a fork. All right, I'm gonna take the first bite here. so tender. That maple flavor is so coming through on this. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, y'all. Go find some pork tenderloins and make this. My husband's on the other side of the camera salivating right now. <laughs> he has been for quite a while. Okay. I want you to comment down below and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, I will see you on my next episode. <laughs>